Hi dancers, it's Miss Michelle here. Welcome to dance class. I'm so happy to see you today. Let's get started with our name game. I'll say my name and then I'll do a movement or a gesture, a gesture or a movement with my name. Then you'll repeat it with me. Miss Michelle. Everyone try that. Say my name and do my movement. Miss Michelle. Good job. Now it's your turn to say your name and you do a movement on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Good job. Now in dance class every week before we do big movements across the floor or travel or do our tendus, we warm up the body, right? We warm up the body and the mind. The purpose of a warm up in dance class is to prepare our minds and our bodies for choreography and for larger movements so that we don't get hurt. So let's warm up. Let's grab our sticks. Let's grab all the sticks around us. Grab those sticks and toss them into the fire. Toss those sticks into the fire. Grab up some more sticks for our campfire. Grab the sticks and throw them in. Throw them in fast and throw them in slow. Take your flint so that we can start our fire and throw that spark onto the wood. We take our flint and we rub it together really, 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 really quickly and spark. Rub that flint together really, 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 really quickly and spark. Throw that spark onto the wood. So now we have our fire, feel that fire. And it's time to warm up our body parts in the fire. Here we go. Here we sit with our fingers in the campfire. Roast them, toast them, roast them, ouch our wrists. Here we sit with our wrists in the campfire. Roast them, toast them, roast them, ouch. Our elbows. Here we sit with our elbows in the campfire. Roast them, toast them, roast them, ouch. What about our toes? Here we sit with our toes in the campfire. Roast them, toast them, roast them, Ouch! And our ankles. Here we sit with our ankles in the campfire. Roast them, toast them, roast them. Ouch! And our legs. Here we sit with our legs in the campfire. Roast them, toast them, roast them. Ouch! And now you get to pick your own body part. So I'll sing the first part of the song. When I stop, you choose the body part. You put that into the campfire to warm it up. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. Here we sit with our in the campfire. Roast them, toast them, roast them, ouch. It's time for our hello song. So we'll start standing up in parallel position with our hands on our hips. We'll skip around in a, an imaginary circle. We have all of our imaginary friends in a circle with us. So say hi, imaginary friends. And we'll walk the pathway like this. Here's the circle. And when we get back to the end, we'll skip. We'll do a curtsy and then we'll sit down. It looks like this. This is the way we say hello, say hello, say hello. This is the way we say hello in our ballet class. And then we curtsy and sit back down. Let's try that. Hands on your hips. This is the way we say hello, say hello, say hello. This is the way we say hello in our ballet class. Did you curtsy before you sat down? Nice job. Okay, let's try that really slowly. So remember, when you skip around the circle and we sing the song more slowly, our jumps, our skips have to be higher because the song is slower. We still have to point our feet. Our hands are still on our hips. We have to 
jump higher and hang in the air longer. It looks like this. This is the way we say hello, say hello, say hello. This is the way we say hello in our ballet class. Give it a try. This is the way we say hello, say hello, say hello. This is the way we say hello in our ballet class. Did you curtsy? Nice job. Now we've done it at a medium speed and a slow speed. Do you think we can do it at a fast speed? Let's see. Now this time, you're skipping around the circle. Because we're singing the song more quickly, your skips will be smaller, but they're still pointed. Our hands are still on our hips. And if you want to change the direction of the circle, if you've been skipping this way around the circle, why don't you try the other way? It looks like this. This is the way we say hello, say hello, say hello. This is the way we say hello in our ballet class. Let me come back. Do our curtsy and then we sit down like dancers. Are you ready? Let's see. This is the way we say hello, say hello, say hello. This is the way we say hello in our ballet class. Nice job. Okay, so let's take our peanut butter in one hand. Show me your peanut butter. Take your jelly in the other hand and rub it all together and show me your peanut butter and jelly hands. Peanut butter and jelly one way, peanut butter jelly the other, peanut butter and jelly down low, peanut butter and jelly up high. Take that peanut butter and jelly and put it on one leg and stick that leg to the ground. And take that peanut butter and jelly and put it on the other leg and stick it to the ground. And then take that peanut butter and jelly and stick it on the inside of your leg so that you have one long giant leg. And remember when your peanut butter and jelly is on your legs, your legs are stuck to the ground and nobody can lift that left leg up stuck and nobody can lift that right leg stuck up stuck and then nobody can take your legs apart because they're stuck together. Nobody can take your legs apart because they're stuck together. No one can take your legs apart because they're stuck together with peanut butter and jelly. No one can take them apart because they're stuck together with peanut butter and jelly. And we sit up tall. Long spines put on your ballerina tiara or your ballet king crown and your fairy wings or your ballet bird wings. And you have a long spine and your shoulders are relaxed. And let's go. We flex. And we point. Flex and point. We flex the right foot. Flex the left foot. Flex the right foot. And the left foot. Flex both. Turn out first. Point. Rotate. Flex. First, point, parallel, and flex. Rotate first, point the feet, parallel, and flex. Rotate, point, we point, rotate, flex, parallel. Point, rotate, flex, parallel. Point, rotate, flex, parallel. Point those toes and point rough forward. We fold forward and hang there. Roll up. We fold forward. Roll up. Pour the rough forward. And roll up through the spine. One more. Quarter bra forward. Roll up through the spine. Stick the soles of the feet together. Make sure that that peanut butter's on there. 
and make our rainbow to one side. And come up and to the other. Come up. Again, rainbow one side. And up. Rainbow other side. And up. Beautiful. Let's take those butterfly wings today and flutter them. You can flutter, make big butterfly wings. We close our wings and we open them. We close our wings and we open them and then we flutter quickly. We bounce our butterfly wings. We're stretching our inner thighs because we use our inner thighs in dance class. We use them to rotate and to lift our legs and bob maws and arabesques and tendus. And then we close our legs, our butterfly wings, and open them. What color are your butterfly wings today? Oh, my butterfly wings today are orange. Okay, so let's flutter our beautiful butterfly wings. Every color butterfly wing is beautiful. Let's flutter our wings through the magical forest. We're flying in the forest. It's an enchanted forest. And look, over there, it's an owl. Hide. And then roll up through the spine. And let's continue flying through the forest. Maybe we're flying through a magical jungle. Oh, look, it's a tropical toucan. Duck. And then roll up through the spine. Maybe we're flying through a beautiful fairy forest. Oh, look, it's a fairy. Hide, duck. And then roll up through the spine. And we're flying through that forest. I see an owl. Hide, duck. And roll up through the spine. Nice, nice job. Crisscross applesauce. It's time for our ABC song. So show me your fingers and wiggle them and shake out your hands. Flick out. Flick, 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 flick. Here we go, ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I said my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Good job. We have a new one today. Does anyone remember Twinkle Twinkle Little Star? Okay, let's try it. Get your twinkles out. Show me your twinkles. Here are your twinkles. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high. Like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Good job. That's our Twinkle Twinkle song. And now it's time to get the spiders out. So let's grab our spiders. They might be behind our furniture. They might be under the bed. They might be in your hair. Ooh, I hope those spiders aren't in your hair. Wherever your spiders are, get them ready. Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Again, even faster. Okay, let's see if we can do it. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Woo, that was fast. Let's do it even faster. Let's see if we can do it. Warp speed. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout, down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain and the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Woo, yay, good job. Now, I'm looking at the time and it looks like it's banana split time. So you know what that means. We need bananas for our banana split. So let's get on our tummies and we go. One banana, two banana, three banana, splat. One banana, two banana, three banana, splat. 
One banana, two banana, three banana split. And one banana, two banana, three banana split. Okay. We've made our bananas. Now from our tummies, we push up to all fours and we curl our spines like a cat and arch our spines like a cow. We look into our belly button like a cat. We look up to the ceiling like a cow. We curl like a cat. We arch like a cow. We curl our spine and look at our belly buttons like a cat. And we arch our face and our eyes to the ceiling like a cow. And then we come back and sit on our heels and back to the floor and crisscross applesauce. So we have our bananas. What else do we need for our banana split? We need bananas. We need sprinkles. So let's gather up your sprinkles. Gather them up and throw them into the banana split. Gather up more sprinkles. And this time we're going to sprinkle them into the bowl. Gather up more sprinkles and sprinkle your sprinkles into the banana split. Yummy, yummy, yummy. So for our banana split, we need bananas, we need sprinkles, we need, hmm, ice cream. I think ice cream is the most important part of the banana split, don't you? What is a banana split without ice cream? That's just bananas. So let's get on our shins. So we're sitting on our shins and the tops of our feet from the side, it looks like this. So our tushy is on our heels and our spines are long and we're scooping our ice cream. So let's scoop one scoop of ice cream and then two scoops of ice cream and then three scoops of ice cream and then roll up through the spine, yummy, yummy. Let's choose flavors for our ice cream because variety is the spice of life and I like variety in my ice cream flavor. So I like vanilla ice cream. And what about, what other flavor ice cream can we put in our banana split? Strawberry ice cream. And chocolate ice cream. Oh, yummy. Our banana split is going to be so delicious. So we have bananas. We have sprinkles, we have ice cream. We need whipped cream. So whip up your whipped cream really, really, really fast. And then toss it on top of the banana split. And then whip up your whipped cream with one hand and then toss it into the banana split. And then whip up your whipped cream with the other hand and then toss it. And your whipped cream's on your banana split. And now we need cherries to go on top. Remember, when we do our cherries, we go to the cherry orchard to pick our cherries. We start on our tummies and we point our toes and we try to take our pointed toes as close to the tops of our heads as we can. So I'm going to the cherry orchard pretty, pretty please with a cherry on top. Won't you come with me to the cherry orchard pretty, pretty please with the cherry on top. Won't you come with me to the cherry orchard? Pretty, pretty please, with the cherry on top. Won't you come with me to the cherry orchard? Pretty, pretty please, with the cherry on top. Okay, I'm looking for all the cherries in the cherry orchard. So what I'll do is I'll come around to the cherry orchard and I'll pick cherries. And when I get to you, I'll say, relax, and then you can relax. So get into your cherry picking position. I'm going to the cherry orchard. Won't you come with me? Pretty, pretty, please, with the cherry on top. Relax. Nice job. So. We have our banana splits. Take your spoon in one hand, dig in. Yummy. 
Let's try it with the other hand. Take your, take your spoon in the other hand and Oh, yummy, but now my tummy is squishy because we ate too much. So we sit up tall. No, icky yucca. We sit up tall like dancers. No, icky yucca. We sit up tall like professional dancers. No, icky yucca. We sit up tall like male dancers and ballerinas because we have both in ballet. Boys and girls take ballet. Ballet is for everyone. Dance is for everyone. Everyone and anyone can take ballet. It doesn't matter who you are. Dance is for everyone. No, icky yucca, sit up tall. No, icky yucca, sit up tall. So remember, we talked about working our core in ballet class because we need strong core so we have energy and stamina to dance forever. We are going to do our tummy exercise. And it looks like this. Make sure there's space around you. You'll lie back on the floor and then you'll come up in three, two, one, surprise! And fold forward over your legs and roll down through your spine one bone at a time. Your spine is like a pearl necklace and each little pearl in the necklace has to roll through sequentially. Sequentially means in order so that we don't hurt ourselves. It actually feels really nice on your spine if you do this correctly. We go three, two, one, surprise! And fold forward over your toes. Try to touch those toes if you can. Try to touch them and then roll back. And we go three, two, one, surprise! And roll forward. And articulate through your spine. Roll back. And three, two, one, surprise! Nice job! So let's talk about how we get up off the floor for ballet class. We start with a mermaid tail. So take your mermaid tail to one side. Look down at your mermaid tail and then look up to the ceiling and around to the other side. Look at the side that doesn't have a mermaid tail. And then come back to center. Crisscross applesauce. Now take your mermaid tail to the other side that you have not done yet. And look down at your mermaid tail. Say hello, mermaid tail. Hello, mermaid tail. You're looking nice and shiny today, mermaid tail. Thank you for being a beautiful mermaid tail for me. Look up to the ceiling over to the other side and come down through the center and then get up to your knees and then one foot and then the other foot and you should be in first position. If you can see a V, you're in first position. So my V looks like a slice of pie. It could be a slice of pizza pie or maybe a slice of peach pie. Maybe it is a slice of pecan pie. You get to choose. Your first position, what kind of pie is it today? You tell me. Let's start our plies and our tendus. Hands on hips. Demi, straighten, releve, and lower. Demi, straighten, releve, and lower. Demi, straighten, Releve and lower. Demi, straighten, releve and lower. Tendu, close first. Tendu front and first. Tendu front, close first. Tendu with the left. Close first to the side, a la second. Close first, side, and first, tendu second, close first, tendu, and side we port a bra with the right arm, the open side like a flower, port a bra, both arms. Open to second position. First. Beautiful. 
Beautiful. Now we're going to tippy toe across the floor. Starting from the side, we're going to keep our hands in fifth position on O. And we're on our tippy toes. Tippy toe across the floor. Here we go. Can you try it by yourself without me tippy toe across the floor? Here you go. Beautiful. Try the other side. Tippy toe across the floor. On the other side. Go. Beautiful. Nice job. have skips. It looks like this across the floor. And you skip across on the other direction. Try it again. You skip. And you skip. Try it without me. Skip. Coming back across the floor. You go. Nice job. Okay, beautiful. It's time for freeze dance. So when the music is playing, you're moving through the space. When the music stops, you can freeze in any shape that you want. It looks like this. Freeze dance. Freeze dance. We're dancing through the space. We're frozen. This time, when the music stops, I want you to freeze in a low level shape. Remember, a low level is down low. A high level is up high. And a medium level is in between low and high, in the middle plane. This time when the music stops, you're freezing on a low level. Dancing through the space. You're moving through the space. You can jump and sway and walk. Are you frozen still like a statue? I see you. Nice shapes. This time when the music stops, I want you to freeze on a high level. Here we go. Let's see, freeze on a high level. And you're moving through the space. And when the music stops, you're going to freeze on a high level shape. <gasps> and now, when the music stops, I want you to freeze in a balance on one leg. You can be in Ray to Ray on one leg. You can be in Arabesque on one leg. It's your choice, but you have to balance on one leg when the music stops. Remember when the music stops, you're balancing on one leg. <gasps> now this time, when the music stops, you're balancing on the other leg. So if you did a Ray to Ray with your left leg up, this time you're going to balance with your right leg up. If you did an arabesque with your left leg up in the air, this time, Try that arabesque with the right leg up in the air, right? I lost my balance. So, 
When the music stops, you try your other leg this time. Here we go. Are you balanced? Did you balance? Good job. Nice. Okay, going to jump across the floor, it's a leap. So if you have a little pillow or a toy or anything you can put down on the floor, you're going to jump over it, okay? Can you see my, it's down here, I can see it. We run and then we leap, leap. And then we run like ballerinas to the other side or male dancers, professional dancers. We run like professional dancers. And we run and leap. Other side, here we go, try it again. And run, leap. Other side, run, leap. Beautiful. Okay, so I ran across the floor and leaped. My arms were in arabesque, right? Run, 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 arabesque arm. Run, 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 arabesque arm. Let's see if you can do that without me. I think you can, here you go, get ready. Here you go, run, run, leap, go. Let's see you do it. And then other side, run, run, leap. Beautiful, okay. It is time for our reverence. Who remembers what reverence means? We do our reverence at the end of class. Reverence is a French word. It means respect or thank you. So we show reverence to the teacher and our class pianist. We don't have a live class pianist, but we're using the class pianist's music. His name is Christopher Hobson. So when we do our reverence today, we'll thank him for playing for us. And we start in first position, then we'll step to the side and then pour the rod to one side and then step to the other. I'll put the music on and we can do it with the music. And we say thank you for class. Thank you teacher for teaching us. Thank you dancers for dancing with me. Thank you class pianists for playing and thank you audience for watching us. So at the end of a performance, the dancer dances and when the performance ends, the dancer says thank you to the audience for clapping and applauding and enjoying the performance. So let's try that with music. It's our reverence. Pour de bras, we step to the side. And we play. And then we step to the other side. And we reach up tall and then play. You're tall, like a long flower reaching towards the sun, like a long sunflower trying to touch the sun. Long bodies. Find your front. And that's all for class today. Thank you so much for dancing with me. You did a wonderful job. Excellent work. Don't forget to practice your dance and practice anything. And hopefully I'll see you on Zoom next time. If you have any questions, you can ask me then. Take care. Bye.